What's going on guys? It's Sahaman back with another Batman related video for the Batman vs Superman month. And what you're going to be looking at right here is some of my Batman vintage figures. Now again, I said some. This isn't even this isn't even close to half of them. Um, these are the ones that I have out and uh, close by. These are fully complete, um, although they look like they might not be because they're missing like their capes or something. I have everything um, in like storage bags and stuff like that. But I'll go do a quick little run through of everything. So you can see right over here on the far right, we have the uh, two pack, these two Batmans over here from Batman and Robin, everyone's favorite movie, right? This was another one from Batman and Robin, the silver Batman. Not sure, I forgot exactly if he came solo or not. Over here in the front, we have the two pack that came with Robin and Batman right there in the back from the Batman Forever line. You can see those two right here. Uh, this was a set that I actually loved a lot growing up as a kid. I loved that Batman and I love this Robin figure. I loved Robin's look in the Batman movies. Over here, um, Batman of the Horses from the Legends of Batman line. This is a figure that holds a lot of, um, it holds a lot of like just memories. So this is this is one that I'm, I'm always going to have in my collection. And uh, I forgot the name of it. I think it's like the Knight Rider Batman or something like that. But it's from the Legends of Batman. Come over here is the very popular from Batman the Animated Series. And these are all by Kenner, by the way. Um, this is right. This is the uh, what's the name of it? The um, <laughs> Battle Utility Belt Combat Combat Utility Batman from the Animated Series, the most popular one. Such a cool figure, guy. This one brings back a lot of memories, and so does this one right here from the original 1989 Batman. But this figure wasn't made in '89. This is the Bruce Wayne to Batman figure. A very very cool figure right here. And you can unmask him and he turns to Bruce Wayne and everything. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen this figure. Right there in the back, we got some villains from Batman and Robin. We have Bane and the Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze. Right over here, we have two versions of Robin. We have the red and blue. And we have the blue and yellow, which comes with the motorcycle right there. Both from Batman and Robin. Um, over here, I didn't show this one here. There's Batgirl. I also have the Batgirl that comes with the motorcycle, but that is somewhere in storage. We come to the back, there's another animated version of Batman. I don't know what that one's from. I actually got it in a lot. Over here, we just knocked some Batmans over. Over here is the Batman animated series Robin. I think it's a glider Robin. He came with like a, uh, a glider. Here's one of my favorite ones as well. And that's from the 1992 Kenner uh, from Batman Returns. We got the Robin right here. Over here, this figure actually came with the Batman and Robin Batmobile. And this is just a Batman. This isn't even the cape for him, but I just put it on there. There's the George Clooney Batman. Over here is the uh, another original Batman figure from based off of the Michael Keaton Tim Burton Batman. So you have that, this one right here. It's falling over. That one's kind of difficult to get to stand. Over here, this one is actually based off of the first Batman movie. I don't have the cape on this one, but they had these certain type of cloth capes that you can use on this one and just interchange them. And the belt kind of goes forward on this one over here. Coming to the back are some cards that I have that I haven't opened yet because I do plan on reviewing more of these because I have a lot of these still sealed in their cards. This is uh, Two-Face right over here. This is Batman and Robin. This is another version of Robin, Glacier Battle Robin. And we have Frostbite, some of um, Mr. Freeze's goons. Batman the Animated Series Man Bat, got that for 10 bucks. And we have a sealed Batman Returns Robin figure. I got that one for $5. I got it at WonderCon last year. Uh, if you wanna take a look at some of the cards right here, cause I can tell you exactly what I have. So if you look at the back right here, which I have this Mr. Freeze. I'm knocking everything down. I have this Poison Ivy. I have this version of Batman which is a Bruce Wayne to Batman. I have, this is the motorcycle that comes with Robin. I do have that one. Vehicle wise, I do have the Batmobile. You guys saw that. I do have the Ice Glow Bat, um, Bat Hammer. I have this Batgirl Strike uh, figure with uh, Batgirl. Um, I do have the Blastwing Batman and the Glacier Robin you guys just looked at right now. So that's from Batman and Robin. Yeah, Bat from Batman the Animated Series. I can show you guys right here. I do have Two-Face, I do have Penguin, I do have that Parachute Batman, I have that Joker, I have the Bruce Wayne Joker, I have the Riddler, I have that Batmobile, I have the Motorcycle Batman right there, I have that Joker Mobile, and I have that little vehicle, the BATV as well. If we look at the Batman Returns, back of the card, let's see what I got here. I do have Arctic Batman, I have the Air Attack Batman, I have the Deep Dive Batman, I have the Thunder Whip Batman, I have those Penguins, and the little penguins. Um, I do have the Bruce Wayne custom coupe Batmobile. What else do I have? 
I have the Skydrop airship. I am planning on purchasing different versions of the bat caves so stay tuned for that because i do want to pick up some bat caves i don't think i i honestly don't think i have any bat caves looking at the back of the batman forever ones i have the uh street biker robin i have his motorcycle as well i have the hydro claw robin i have the riddler and i think that's all i have from batman and robin but that's it guys it's a quick little look at some of the vintage figures that i have you can see some of them just fell over. This is before, like a lot of them came with bases. But I love the Kenner Batmans. I mean, the old school vintage figures I love a lot only because I grew up with these. These are the kind of figures I grew up with. And now we get these like six, seven inch scale figures that are fully articulated and way more detailed. And don't get me wrong, I love those to death. But these here, if you're my age, you guys will know like these will hold like a special, you know, you know, part of your like life because i mean this is the ones we grew up with this is the figures we actually played with as kids but um that's a quick little overlook at some of the vintage batman figures that i do have if you guys want to see part two of this let me know in the comments below give this video a thumbs up if it gets enough views and and likes and you know you guys leave comments and everything i'll go to my storage and dig out the figures i am going to be doing the part two of the vehicle for sure but if you guys really do want to see a part two of this please let me know and give the video a thumbs up because I got, i'm gonna to have to dig through a lot of boxes to find the rest of the loose figures so thanks for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed this starting tomorrow and um Probably the rest of the week, there's going to be a lot more Batman figure reviews and Batman versus Superman surprises. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what vintage figures you guys have. Thanks for watching. Peace.